What's up guys, Bruce Leroy here. Bear with me just a minute and uh, I'll show you how I tuned up this Memorex radio. Uh, oh yeah, it's, uh, the problem was this uh, on off switch right here. Yeah, this is the problem right here, okay. It was uh twitchy, twerky, quirky. I wish it was twerking. I think I've got it twerking better now. But uh, that's the off radio and uh, CD auxiliary. And that's why I bought it was for the auxiliary, obviously. And that's what was not working very well. And sometimes only like one of the speakers would be working. So um, bear with me just a minute and I'll show you how I tuned it up a little bit. over maybe even plug it in plug it in okay that's all okay you get this sucker apart you have to take out six screws and two of them are a little longer you can use a number two Phillips head it will work if you're going to use a drill, you're going to need a long bit like this. It doesn't have to be that long, but about half as long anyway. And uh, So you take those six out, peel it apart, split it in half, and uh, here's your problem. Here's that switch. Let's see, it's in the off position. Yeah. Siegel. He's retiring for January so, after hosting All Things Considered for 30 years. Okay, I've got both speakers working now, so I'm assuming the auxiliary is going to work better again now. But, like a dummy, first I left my uh, poor man's iPod at work. But check it out. Once you get this, so you'll have to take this, uh, This you'll probably have to take this brace off too to get to it. You may not have to. No, you may not have to, but it's easier to see with that off for this. So, it, first thing I started with was just this stuff. From this electronic cleaner you can should be able to get anywhere. It dries fast and I just sprayed a little in this side and a little in that side and then tried to worked it in some and uh, NPR news in Washington that seemed to uh, seem to do the trick but while I was at it I went ahead and used some of this dielectric grease which I didn't actually squirt it out of the tube, I just used what was uh, saturated in the toothbrush and came in each side with it. And then threw it back together, and that's about it. So, if yours is quirky and twitchy like that, then uh, maybe that'll fix yours too. Um, you know, it's not an expensive thing. It was $20, $25 or whatever. But, you know, whether it's $25, $50, $100, whatever, a fix is a fix. And, uh, now, you know, leaving town. it's just, that's cheap electronics for you, dirt cheap stuff. It doesn't, you know, the factory could make stuff a little better, but whatever. Now, your, your uh, volume and station tuning knobs may fall out, too, when you're doing that. So. But that's no big deal, just be careful. All right, hope you, hope this helps, helpful to you. My next project may th be this quirky one as well, which I like all right because it's got the tuning, or the, not, is that what it, no, it's the uh, tone, that's what it's got, the tone, but it, hear that, that's when the volume's turned down low, quirky, annoying, but sometimes the switch is, acts up to, uh, whatever. Sounds alright. 